Good afternoon, everyone. In today's webinar, we are going to see how to set up. Okay, कि आपको अगर order place करना है तो फिलहाल जो अब तक हमने जो videos बनाए हैं, okay, we have made in Python. But हमें जो अभी हमारे दूसरे language में भी SDK से like C sharp, Java script में भी हमारे SDK. तो आज का जो हमारा webinar होने वाला है, that's basically on कि कैसे how to set up C sharp in your system. और कैसे C sharp के SDK को use करना है और कैसे आपको place order करना है. ओके okay, तो हमने एक वीडियो भी रिकॉर्ड किया है जो हम बताने वाले हैं जो लाइव मार्केट में हमने रिकॉर्ड किया था कि हाउ टू प्लेस ऑर्डर ओके थ्रू शीशा तो काफी सिंपल है आपको अच्छे से फॉलो करना है कि क्या क्या स्टेप्स uh, रहेंगे ओके सो विद मी आकाश इज देयर सो आकाश आपको बताएंगे कि हाउ टू सेटअप और आपको ये स्टेप्स को फॉलो करना है एंड आपको अगर ये फॉलो करते कुछ भी एरर्स आता है तो डेफिनेटली मैंने अपने पुराने वीडियोस में भी बताया यू कैन मेल टू अस ऑन ब्रीज एपी एट द रेट आई सी सी सिक्योरिटीज डॉट कॉम ओके सो विल कनेक्ट विद यू एंड विल हेल्प यू आउट कि कैसे आपको अगर कोई सेटअप में इश्यू आ रहा है सो वी कैन कनेक्ट एंड वी कैन ट्राई टू सॉल्व दैट क्वेरी ओके सो नाउ आकाश यू कैन शेयर योर स्क्रीन Okay, and teach like how you can set up C sharp and how to place an order through Breeze API and C sharp. Okay, uh, thanks, Ethan. Uh, let me share my screen first. Okay, so first of all, you you will need uh, three things. First will be the GitHub repository of C sharp. Second will be Visual Studio, uh, and third will be the Git. because we have to clone the github repository so git should be installed on your computer so first of all we will see how to install visual studio on your computer first of all search visual studio on google search when you search it you will see this page click on this download button once uh, you here you come here you will see the community id just click on that and it will get downloaded after this we have uh, documented this process in a the pdf file which will be uploaded in our github repository just follow that uh, after downloading you will see this kind of page where you just have to click on the install button and visual studio ide will be installed for you after installing you have to uh, install the dotnet desk desktop development environment uh, basically uh, most of the libraries that is needed to uh, Needed for our Breeze API to connect with C Sharp are downloaded with this uh, development kit. After this, you will see this kind of uh, uh, screen where you uh, you get an uh, option to clone a repository. So before this, you have to uh, check whether the Git is installed on your computer or not. If it is not installed, you just have to download it from uh, this website. Let me show you again. Okay. Yeah. So you will you have to search install Git and you have to download the Git from here. Uh, for if you have Windows, you can download for Windows. You have if you have Mac, uh, Mac Mac operating system, you can download it from here. so for uh, doc, uh, process for this is also documented in this pdf file as you can see uh, all every step is given here you have to download the uh, 64 bit git for window setup after this you have to open the installer you have to press next button until you get the finish button after uh, finishing uh, you have to open a command prompt in command prompt in command prompt you ha you have to run this command git Uh, space dash dash version, which will uh, confirm whether the Git is installed or not on your system. After this, uh, you have to open the Visual Studio that we have installed already. So after installing, you will get this kind of page. First of all, click on this. You have to give a uh, link here, which will be the GitHub repository link of uh, C Sharp. Yes, details of Java. Uh, I say it's a direct. So you will you have to copy this link from this page. Go to Breeze C Sharp SDK. Here you will see this uh, green button of code. 
you just have to click on that and you will get the copy url to clipboard option you have to click on that after this you go back to visual studio code just paste your uh, website uh, link here after this you have to select a path where you want to uh, install this uh, or clone this library so on desktop we will create a new folder we will give a name as webinar of c sharp and we will select this folder once selected you will get the option of clone here you just have to click on that it will start cloning the github repository uh, we will wait for some time to after this uh, process is completed you just have to see the uh, see the code and change some things so you have to go in the program.cs file in program.cs file you will get the main file of this uh, programming code here you have to pass your api, API key then here you have to pass your secret key then you have to pass your session key and after that you will see as you can see here are our sdks this is get a customer details sdk after this this is get demat holding so these are all the sdks that we are going we can use but today in uh, this webinar we will be seeing uh, demo for get historical data and place order functions and cancel and modify order so before this webinar we have run our uh, sdks in live market so now let me show start the video of get historical data first so as you can see i have uh, clicked on the cloner repository i have passed the link uh, that link will be we will copy from uh, I direct uh, GitHub page of C sharp SDK. So now we will click, click on this C sharp SDK. In this, we will copy the code as told earlier. That copied URL will be pasted here. Then we will select the path where we want to clone this repository. So here we have created a new folder. The folder name will be C sharp webinar. After this, it will start cloning the library for us. Yeah, so now uh, we have to go to program.cs file. Once we come here, we have to pass our API key here, secret key here, session key here. Uh, we have made a uh, new app and generated session key for that today so now uh, for the webinar only we have created that app so now we will copy the api key session key and secret key from that file so first api key will we will copy the api key we'll pass it here after this, we will copy the secret key, which has to be passed. And about the session key, you have to generate your session key manually on the daily basis. After this, we will copy the session key and pass it here. So after that, uh, these are all the ports that uh, all the SDKs that are available, but we needed just a place order, modify and cancel order SDKs. So I have commented out all the other uh, SDKs. So we are passing in gate historical data here. Uh, gate historical data SDK will, we have passed all the uh, details and we are going to build that. So after building, uh, it has started to build. Once we get the build completed successfully message, we will run the code. We have set up a debug process at uh, the first line of the code. So we have to click on the continue. After cl clicking on the continue button, it will start, uh, it will show the output. So as you can see, we have got the historical data for all the uh, inputs that we have provided. So after this, we will exit and we will see the place order function. 
so let me start the next video for this yeah so here you can see we have giving the inputs as nifty stop code as nifty exchange code as nfo product type is option uh, we are buying the option uh, we have placed a limit order as we uh, wanted to uh, demonstrate how to uh, modify and cancel that order so we have placed an order that will not get executed so we have given the quantity as 25 which might change in future uh, the price is uh, given as 1 rupees uh, validity date is the null parameter that you can pass any uh, date there yeah, it will not cause any issue in your code expiry date you have to check uh, you here we will give the expiry date of uh, 2024 october of 31st which is the next expiry of nifty so to, uh, strike price will be 25000 and we will build the code after building we will run the code and it will give up uh, we have set up a debug process at first line so it will give us option of continue and this is the output where we got our order ID message of successfully placed the order user remark. We, we will be copy, copying this order ID to modify this order. So we will exit from this output. And now we will comment it out and we will uh, look into the modify order. In modify order, you just have to give one uh, two parameters. First is order ID that we copied, and second is exchange code that should be the NF either NFO or NSE. Uh, if as we have placed order for F, uh, options, we will be the exchange code will be NFO. So after passing the parameters and changing the quantity, we have to give the new price of uh new price of the options which will be 0 0.70 and then we will build the code and we will run it after running we will get the output Uh, as you can see, we have received the output as successfully modified order. We will copy this order ID uh, as we want to demonstrate how to cancel an order. So we will exit from there. You, we will comment out modify order SDK and we will look into the cancel order SDK. So here you have to paste your order ID and change the exchange code to NFO as we have placed an options order. After this, we will build the code. And after build is completed, we will run the code. As we can see now, the order order cancelled successfully, and order ID is given. So by this, uh, you can cancel an order, place order, and you can use all these SDKs. If you have any query regarding this, you can mail us on Breeze API at the rate ICICI Securities. We will be there to help you out. Uh, apart from this, if you want this code and uh, the documentation. Uh, steps that we have shown for installing Visual Studio on Git. It will be uploaded in our, uh, in our uh, GitHub repository. So please get it from there. Ethan, you want to add something? Uh, so uh, thank you, you Akash, very much it. for showing that how to set up C Sharp and how to set up a uh, environment for the C, uh, C Sharp and then how to place order then modify and cancellation okay so let's see now the questions okay so i can see there there are two questions has been asked okay so 
uh like can you automate vwap strategy see you can use our okay so we have uploaded some sample codes in the github okay so we have coded some indicators in that so you can take a reference from it and uh you can code okay and if you face any issue in it uh in that coding part so definitely you can connect to us okay we'll uh, try to help you out in that part okay so yeah, definitely. And you can mail to us also breeze AP at the ICC securities dot com. We'll connect and we'll see like how. But I will suggest you to start coding. At least you should have a good coding background. OK, so that will help you out. Ki agar kuch errors in future, aate hai, you can uh, uh, you can debug that code. OK, so that's the most important thing. Ki aapko code debug karne bhi aana Okay, so that's the skill. If you API to trade from API, so there's a requirement like you should have some good uh, programming uh, background. But we make uh, videos, okay, where we have covered a lot of basics. Cover ki hai. You can go through that videos. And we make videos, so we upload that on GitHub also. So if you look at this, Akash has said that you have to clone the repository of GitHub. Ki. So you can see this video ek bar. And still, if you face any issue, please do let us know. We'll connect. Okay. Or kuch agar issues are jo okay uh, that you are facing, we can try to debug that. Okay. And thanks for the webinar. Ne, uh, like uh, someone has complimented us. Okay. So thank you, sir. We'll uh, keep making all these kinds of videos. Okay. We'll make on other languages also. We'll try to cover that also. And most focus will be on ki kaise set up karwana hai. Okay, on the easier note, we have videos ko leke aana hai. Then the rest is ki aap kaise usko use karna hai. Wo ek agar aap dekhoge, to you can take help of Google also. Okay, kuch agar errors aare, then you can try to connect to us. Okay, we'll try to connect to you also. Agar aap just mail kar dije, we'll try to connect with you. Okay, so that's all from uh, me and Akash. And if you have any issue, just do let us know us on by mailing on breezeap at the dicecsecurities.com. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.